Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to feed your corals. Um, it's going to be a really basic, easy to understand um, how to do it sort of video. Um, I don't know all the, you know, the scientific stuff around, um, you know, corals and all that sort of stuff. Know that our corals are animals and that they need feeding just like any other animals. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the bell so you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. And I'm also on Instagram. Um, don't forget to go and follow me there for daily updates on the team. I'm all about keeping things as simple as possible. So um, yeah, definitely go and check out some of my other videos if you're interested. All right, so getting straight into it um, with feeding corals there's a few things that you'll need first of all you need one of these bad boys a little syringe I think they're called syringes or little a little feeding syringe let's go with that so um, because I've got a really deep tank I've actually got a little attachment that can go on there so I don't have to get my whole arm wet when I'm feeding my corals so that's really useful um, so yeah I've got my massive feeding syringe. Next you'll need your coral food and today I'm using um, Barrier Reef Labs coral food. It's the first time I'm using their food today so it'll actually be really interesting to see how the corals go compared to the coral food that I've been using already. Um, this stuff is meant to be excellent for LPS corals so um, I'm super excited to see how they're going to react to the food today. Next, you need your bowl to mix the water and the food into. There are a couple of ways to do it. You can just pour this straight into the tank. Um, the only downside to that is that the corals are going to have to work to try and collect the food from the water column. Whereas if you um, direct feed, you're putting the food directly straight to them. They're not having to work for it and you know that they're getting a good decent amount of food. So um, I definitely prefer to um, target feed my corals. Um, so I know that they're definitely all being fed. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Some decent food um, for your corals, a bowl and your little feeder thing here. Um, and I'll show you how I feed mine now. So first of all, I like to turn off my wave makers um, because if you have your wave makers still on, um, your food will get blown all throughout the tank um, while you're trying to feed it. So turn off your wave makers. Um, I don't bother about turning off my filters because um, yeah, the, the flow isn't too bad from there. But if you've got a smaller tank and your filter um, output is quite strong, then maybe turn off that as well. Um, but yeah, in my tank, I don't really bother. Another thing to note is the timing of when you feed your corals. If you find that your fish are actually eating your corals, um, it might be that, um, and you're feeding your corals, say in the morning or something like that, it might be that the fish are trying to eat the coral food that you put on the corals. Um, so sometimes it's best to actually feed them at night when the fish are all going to sleep because otherwise the fish might see the food, the coral food on the corals as, you know, the corals just this sitting, um, you know, abundance of food just sitting there and they might actually be able to stop um, your fish from eating your corals if, if, you have, if you're having this issue uh, by feeding the corals at night so um, your fish are going to bed and they're not going to be trying to um, eat the coral food off the corals um, which might actually, they might be eating your corals instead. So um, that's something that I've discovered as well. So yeah, I'm going to go and turn off my wave makers now. So now I've done that, I'll bring you a little bit closer um, and show you what I do. So first of all, you need a, a bit of tank water. So I've got some water in there. And then you need to add food straight into there. And then I like to mix it around with the syringe like this. Until it's all sort of mixed in with the water. Then we go ahead and start feeding the corals.
once you've finished feeding, you can go ahead and turn on your wave makers again and put everything back on. Yeah, I think I'm a Barrier Reef Labs um, convert because I don't think I've ever seen, especially my elegance corals react like that to food before. They were just loving that. So um, hats off to them. It must be an awesome product. But yeah, it's really as simple as that. And as far as how much and how often, I think um, every tank's different. So um, play around with your tank, but maybe start off with once to twice a week. Um, and sort of see how things go after that um, and sort of adjust it to what you reckon um, your corals are needing. But yeah, it's definitely a really important thing to do um, just as you'd feed your fish, um, target feeding your corals, just make sure that the food gets direct to them. But yeah, that's basically it. It's really that simple. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs>